All right, guys, this is DJ Wolf, and this is DJ Wolf Live. You know, I, I thought about something. A couple things. There was a YouTuber who talked about Will and Jada extensively. And I got to thinking about what the guy said, and he was totally right. See, Jada married Will, and we know that there was a couple of reasons why she married Will. But the thing of it is, by her being only an uh, uh, estimate her net worth is fifty million, and Will's is was five times that. Uh because I think Will's like three fifty, and she was estimating, which I'm surprised. I think that's low ball. I think he's probably worth a lot more than that. You know, particularly with the franchises that he actually was involved with, uh, Men in Black, for one. Anyway, so uh, he basically just said, and I have to agree with, and I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I thought about it. Jada knew she was she had a, a gold mine of a man when she married Will Smith, right? You know the guy, and 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 and, and, and don't get and, 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 and listen to what I'm saying right here. And I know some people like I ain't judging no guy. I, look, this ain't about me judging guys and not judge guys. I'm very secure in my manhood. I don't have a problem saying if, if a guy's good looking or not. If he's good looking, he's good looking. I mean, so I say this thing about women. But the thing of it, when I say about women, I have a passion about it. Guys, are, okay, it's just more of a compliment. You know, and some people just just so small-minded that they think, oh, yeah, you ain't the guy because you think so, you say you good look good. So what? You know? I think my son's a good-looking ma- young man. You know? I think I'm a good-looking man. You know? you know? But they always say beauty not eyes of beholder. So, nevertheless, Jada Pinkett Smith had the winning combination with Will Smith. She knew that, right? She wasn't going to marry him anyway. She, you know, she she did not. She she said she never wanted to be married. She actually said that on Red Table Talk, out of her own voice. She didn't want to be married. Um, she had always been a freak. She admitted to that. She'd been a super freak since she was nine years old because her grandma taught all, taught all that mess. That's another whole story. But the thing of it was. And this is what I'm getting at, is that Jada had hit the jackpot with Will Smith. Very handsome man. Good looks. A-lister, movie star. Been in a number of big budget blockbusters. The most bankable star in Hollywood one time. All right? With all of that said, oh yeah, and uh, a hit maker in the rap world, so he conquered rap music, hip hop. He conquered television, and he conquered films. What more could you get out of a, of a high dollar value man, especially a famed high dollar value man, than that? Well, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. It didn't matter what he did for her. It didn't matter how nice he was for her. For her, and as much as he would lay out the red carpet for her, each and every chance he had. He still wasn't enough for her. And a black man, you know, fellow brother at that. I mean, really? This is the kind of guy that women dream for. Seriously. He is literally the kind of man that most black women talk about having. But you know what? Black women talk a good game. And that's what this is my this is my, my take on. Black women talk a good game about wanting a good man, but really. When it comes down to it, they could care less. They only really want a good man to get good, good opportunities to do a, to do some fuck shit anyway. They all like that. Many of them are like that. Seriously, I want a good man. I'm tired of all these men treating me like this and like that, 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 all that bullshit. Meanwhile, you will do the same thing with the good man you did with any other guy until you get the next guy to make you feel good. About yourself, or whatever. And the thing of it is, no matter what Will did, Will talked about a birthday party that he had uh, for a 40th birthday party that he was planning. You know, to, to help make him feel good about himself. And and she told him about that. Of course, when he told the story, she laughed in his face about it. But you know, among other things, I mean. Jada is about herself. She's about her own stuff. 
And notice she was, I mean, seriously, and, I, and I've heard her talk about Tupac in length. All right. I have yet to actually ever hear her talk about uh, Will Smith, the same passion she talked about Tupac. I have never heard it. I've never heard it. These guys been married for 25 years. I've yet to hear Jada say anything about how passionate she is to be that she's married to Will. Nothing of any real comp complimentary uh, uh, source or statement. I've yet to hear it. And that's a damn shame. Because this is me personally. If I was Will, I think I would deserve much better than Jada, Jada Pinkett Smith. Especially the, the fact that she talks more passionately about a, about a, 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 a hip hopper who, who, who turned actor who, who had died or was killed over her husband who she's been married to for 25 years who left his first wife to be with her oh yeah I forgot who had an affair on his first wife to be with her cause Jada was the original side piece of that relationship anyway yeah that's another whole story the thing of it is she's, she's the least bit appreciative of Will she, I don't feel that she really is really or ever was in the will as much as he is in the hurt to a point where he actually allowed her to cheat on him. He tolerated. I don't understand. Maybe if at some point when he get to this uh rehab, he'll realize I don't need that bitch no more. <laughs> I'm gonna move on. You know? I think a lot of us should realize that. If that if your old lady is going to do some shady shit like that, like she did with him, and don't come off as very supportive, especially from a guy like Will, who do what he's done for her for the last 25 years, roll out the red carpet for her, and been a rider for her all this time. And I'm going to tell you right now, I truly, truly, truly believe that Will has always loved her. With a passion. I don't think she's ever really loved him the same way. I really don't believe it. I really don't ever believe that she did. That's the sad part, man. This guy went to bat for her, man. You know? This is a guy who actually saw pain in his mother's eyes when she was abused by his father. You know how I know that, 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 that I believe that? Because I went through the same shit with my family. Okay? I'm not going to go into great detail about it, but I can tell you right up front, it's not. It's hard to watch. It was hard to watch. You know? But Jada don't have no compassion for that because her father was never around. You know? She don't. she never understand that. she never understand Will's pain. And I don't think she really gives a fuck about it. I don't. Personally, that hurts me. It does. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I even feel some compassion for Jane. She told a story about how how uh, her grandmother taught her how to uh, uh, be aroused at, on herself at the age of nine. That's nothing but sexual abuse. That's sad. You know? It, it was just some weird dichotomy that her grandmother was talking about that was the reason why she did what she did. And probably got used to doing it to a point where, hey, okay, I want to do it anymore. She was exposed way too young of an age anyway. I said, that's crazy. You know? But that's also sad too. You know? But the saddest part about it is that Jada, and then she said something about that on Red Table Talk to. I think she said something about she didn't really learn how to love. So you telling me after 25 years you've been with Will Smith all these years and you never really learned how to love. That's truly sad. Is it that you never really learned how to love or you were looking for love in all the wrong places? Like a lot, a lot of women do thinking that's love she kind of did say that too she alluded to that in uh, part of the weird table talk 
But that's what's, that's really sad, though. I say, like, wow. You had a man who gave you the world. Gave you the motherfucking world. On a silver platter. On a silver damn platter. And even that wasn't enough. That's sad, man. Just so you can allow him to ruin the greatest night of his life. Probably one of the greatest nights that would have been in, in, in black history, period. You know, and I know some people say, well, he didn't ruin for black people. Now, I'm going to say this. Although I don't think he ruined it for black people in itself, he didn't help by doing what he did. I'm going to say that. He didn't help it either. You know, let's, let's call it a buck. Let's call it a buck, y'all. For real. Him doing what he did is a sore eye. Let's be let's call it a buck on that. It's a sore eye. Whether and it's irrelevant whether he did what he did that reflects us or not. That's irrelevant. It's the fact that it was a sore eye. Regardless of whether he did it for uh, whether he did reflect on us or not. One other thing that I want to question. Is that even though the slap was real, and even though Will was highly emotional that night, you can see it, that was obvious, even after he got the award. Something is bringing me to believe that this very well may have been, for lack of a better word, set up. I was going to say stage. I don't really think it was staged. Stage is something that you pretend that you were trying to do to, to sabotage it. But I think it was set up where they were, someone had told him you had to sabotage it. That I do believe. I could be wrong. I'm hoping I am wrong. But that's the way I see it. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I worked hard on I'm just putting myself in Will's shoes in terms of what I did as an actor, not Jada. Beside the Jada thing, besides the crazy kids thing, is the fact of what I did. Let the work speak for me. And I worked and I worked and I worked and I worked all these years to become the icon that I am today. And I'm about to get an award for what I did as an icon. Something that few black folks have ever gotten uh, props for ever in, in in motion picture and I'm thinking what would I want to do at that point to jeopardize it or what would I not want to do at that point to jeopardize it? you know I'm just saying I was just I was having to thinking about it. I was just having to be thinking about that what would I not want to do to jeopardize it? Would I rather just go ahead and enjoy my night and then deal with any other issues in the morning? You know, and put all that mess in the back burner? Yes, I would. I don't want to lose a chance to, 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 to get any real respect in this industry by messing up. I don't want to lose the chance of, of the, the movie I did based on a true story about a black man who should have gotten his props a long time ago for raising two of the greatest tennis players of all time. Why would I want to mess that up? Just saying. And honor him for what he did. By going up there to slap somebody because of something, a, a comment that he made you about your wife that wasn't even a bad comment at all? Really? That's why I say it was a setup. Stage, no. Stage is something that you would actually pretend you were trying to do. This goes beyond staging. Yes, I'm saying it. It did. I don't know if it by being staged. I, 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 I kind of I kind of find it hard to believe. Do I believe it was a setup? Do I believe somebody said that hey, you need to do this? 
blah, blah, blah. You need to go ahead and do it because you have to. You know. That I believe. And this is coming from the first Oscars that was ever a black produced Oscar show. Ever. That would make it so bad. The first one. The first one where two of the uh, uh, hosts were black. Oh yeah, one of them was gay. Other one was just female. Other one was white. Female. It was hosted by three women. Like I said, the first telecast presented by a black production staff ever in the history of the Oscars. And directed by the first black director to ever direct the Oscars. About to get an Academy Award started with, I think not one, but two black persons, or maybe a few of them, that have had one Oscars that night. Matter of fact, uh, Samuel Jackson had got an honorary Oscar and it went directly under the work radar because of Will Smith. So did the award by uh, the guy from the uh, from the uh, I forgot the name of the band. <laughs> the, the, the guy that had a, a question, a uh, 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 question, quest love of the roots for a summer soul, and he got his award right after the slam. Sure did. See, that's what I'm saying. And people say, oh, it, 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 it didn't affect uh, black folks. In a way, it did. It did make us look bad in a way. All of that stuff that was involved with this production, it looked bad. Because of a man who couldn't, who lost his control. And a wife who didn't help him, help, help keep it in check. saying there's a lot that just rubbed me wrong about the whole situation I swear it did a lot rubbed me wrong about it and it still does I'm out